Hi, my name is Pat Gillette, and I'm a counselor and a yoga teacher, and I'd like to show you some emotional freedom technique tapping today for recovering from food compulsion. So whether that's overeating, undereating, binging and purging, making poor, poor choices, whatever the issue is, we'll call it food compulsion because a lot of different things apply. <laughs> So Emotional Freedom Technique Tapping was created by Gary Craig and Roger Callahan before him, uh, further developed by Gary Craig. And I'm also going to use some ideas from the Feeling State Addiction Protocol, which was uh, created and developed by Robert Mill Miller. So the idea is to just think about times in your life when you were overeating or restricting or whatever you were doing um, and you felt something really good. So, for example, if you tended to overeat, food equals safety, or restricting equals compliments from people, or whatever it is. So just take, pause the video for a minute and take some time to think about that or write about that and figure out what it was that really made food or something to do with food, uh, binging and purging, feel really good for you and made you happier. <laughs> Usually, whatever it did for you was something you were deprived of in childhood. And so that made it even bigger thing is like, you know, you're deprived of love, deprived of love, deprived of love, and then you suddenly feel loved when you overeat, <laughs> then you're gonna want to do that some more for sure. Okay, so think about how food is linked in your brain. Um, food equals love, food equals safety. Food calms me down when I'm feeling angry or scared. Food makes me feel good about myself instead of ashamed or embarrassed. You might need to pause the video for a minute. If you don't know what food equals for you, what good thing happened when you overate or underate or whatever you did, then just think about what are your triggers and then that might give you a clue. Uh, so you can pause the video and do that if you want. Uh, so with emotional freedom technique tapping, I'm just going to take you through some of my triggers and my links, and then you can just substitute the, the words for what your links are. So the basic phrase for emotional freedom technique is even though I have this, for me, it was compulsive overeating and undereating, but I'll do overeating this time. Uh, even though I have, uh, even though I have a compulsion to overeat, and I'm in fight or flight, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. So that's difficult for a lot of people to say. So you can just say, I deeply and completely accept myself, or I would like to, or I'm willing to, or you can just say, I am working on it. So choose a phrase that you would like to say, uh, and then use your own words for that. Um, but I'm going to do it with the original. So for me, even though I think food equals feeling good about myself, and I'm in fight or flight, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I think food equals feeling good about myself, and I'm in fight or flight, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. So it's the karate chop point is the one we're doing right now. Even though I think food equals feeling good about myself, I keep forgetting what the target is. <laughs> I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And now let's do, and I can't let go. Okay, and now let's tap all the way through. Food makes me feel good about myself. So just thinking about what food means to you, restricting, purging, under eating, over eating, binging and purging, poor choices. Just thinking about what that means for you. What positive thing? Food makes me feel good about myself. And then just go through all the tapping points. Those are all gone into more deeply in my other videos. And we're just doing a round of that. And next, I can't let go of the belief that food makes me feel better about myself because and see if your mind has an answer. So mine, mine just came up with, it 
it, it worked before. <laughs> it certainly made me feel good about myself in the past. So it did make me feel good about myself in the past. And then just tapping on that, it worked. It did work. I did feel better about myself when I overate certain things. And just tapping all those points, thinking about, hmm, I can't let go of the belief that food makes me feel better about myself because it did. <laughs> it really did. It really made me feel better about myself. Food makes me feel better about myself. Just thinking about that. It really worked. It really worked in the past. If you can't think of a reason, then just tap on, I don't know. I don't know why I can't let go of that belief. And then think about what does food really do? <laughs> so for me, food equals anxiety, insomnia, illness, and death. Like, basically, I mean, if you get diabetes from overeating sugar, which I was very likely to do at one point in my life, then eventually, you know, you go blind and you lose your legs and you die. <laughs> so I'm just going to tap on that. Food actually leads to anxiety, insomnia, illness, and death. That was true for me. If I ate sugar, I felt more anxious the next day. I couldn't sleep that night. I would get a cold within a few days. Like not everybody has that reaction to sugar that I do, but this was true for me. So just think about what food really does for you. Does it make you feel ashamed? Does it make you feel, I don't know, something bad as well? Even though you get the temporary relief. So food also could just make you feel good in the short term, but then the next day you feel worse. Or after, while you're eating, you feel better, but then after, after the words, when you're feeling stuffed and ashamed of yourself, and, for me, fat. <laughs> I felt fat. My clothes were too tight. I felt bloated. I felt gassy. I felt horrible after I ate. And then for the next three weeks, I craved food more. So let's just spend a little while on that one. Let's do another round of what food really does. Yeah. I felt ashamed of my inability to control myself. Anxious insomnia illness and death. It made me feel better temporarily, but pretty soon I felt worse. I felt even more ashamed. Anxiety, insomnia, illness and death. That's what it really does for me. The feeling better is only temporary. And it's hard for me to really take that in and really believe it. So you may need to tap a few more times on that before you feel like, oh, yeah, food really actually does something different from what I think. And then think about what does eating moderately do for you? So I created a phrase like, please create your own catchphrase. You know, I feel better. I, I look better. I'm more fit and healthier. So health, health, health looks mood, you know, could be something different for you. So thinking about what eating moderately, what the positive does for you. Eating, eating moderately means I have a life that's prosperous, spiritual, joyous, and free. Just thinking about all those positive things that happen when you eat moderately. I don't have that shame after the binge. I don't have that anxiety insomnia after the restricting. I don't ruin my teeth when I purge. I, I used to run so much that I, that my feet hurt. So, you know, collarbone point here. I stopped hurting myself with over-exercise. So I have comfort in my body when I eat moderately because I don't need to over-exercise anymore. And maybe just do another round of what eating moderately means or eating, making good choices with food means. 
Doesn't mean you have to do it all the time. You don't have to be perfect, but just more often having healthy choices. <laughs> and just thinking about that and naming it. Eating moderately means prosperous, spiritual, joyous, and free. Eating moderately means look good, feel good. And I don't have to overexercise, <laughs> whatever it is. Good. If you get stuck when you're doing this EM, um, EFT tapping, like I've never had it happen. It's very safe for most people, but um, I've heard that you can kind of sometimes get stuck in a painful emotion. Then what you do at the end is you do, you can just follow the instructions in my brain gym video on the same YouTube channel. So I'll just show you one piece of it right now, which is the hold the positive posture. So hold your arms out in front of you, thumbs down, interlock your fingers, Bring your hands down, under, and through. Cross your legs at your ankles. And then inhale, touch the tip of your tongue up to the roof of your mouth. Exhale, tongue down. Inhale, tongue up. Exhale, tongue down. Your mouth can be open or closed. Slowing down your breathing. Inhale, tongue up. Exhale, tongue down. You can breathe in and out through your nose or your mouth. Inhale, touch the tip of your tongue up to the roof of your mouth. Exhale, relax your tongue down. And just keep doing that until you feel calmer. It's a really way, good way to get out of fight, flight, freeze. And it's a really good way if you're stuck in a painful emotion to just slow down your breathing, crossing your wrists. If that's not comfortable, you can cross them this way or this way. Inhaling tongue up, exhaling tongue down. And that's it. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you later. <laughs>